Well, good morning. I want to uh, certainly uh, welcome all of you here and thank all of you that uh, are big supporters of Luke uh, to this press conference, and I want to thank the media certainly uh, for being here today. What we are, you all may sit down if you wish. <laughs> What we are announcing this morning, and what you will learn in a few minutes, is a new team effort on behalf of Luke Air Force Base, securing its long-term future by encouraging the Department of, of uh, Defense to select Luke as a training site for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. You can see assembled with me today are outstanding community leaders, all of whom have joined forces to emphasize the importance and the significance of this undertaking. And you know, this mission is personal for me. Luke Air Force Base is in my backyard. I hear the roar from those jet engines and the sound of freedom on a regular basis, and I love it. I was a founding member of Luke's Fighter Country Partnership. And this past May, I was privileged to be able to turn the last bolt on the first Honeywell engine called the Power and Thermal Management System for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. What's more, I actually got to fly it. <laughs> okay, it was a simulator. <laughs> it was a simulator. But it was real enough for me, it was amazing, real enough for me to issue a proclamation recognizing the F-35 as the premier fighter aircraft in the world, guaranteeing our nation's defense and continuing the proud heritage of military aviation in the great state of Arizona. And as I said before, it is personal for me. Not long ago, I sent a letter to the Secretary of the Air Force, Michael Donnelly, expressing our state's desire to be the training base for the F-35. I told the Secretary that Luke Air Force Base is the perfect location for this advanced fighter aircraft given the fact that Arizona has state statutes, of which I worked on, in place to manage growth around our military installations that protect their mission. I'm reminded him of Luke's unique assets, including its location to the 2.7 million acre Barry M. Goldwater Range, key to air to ground combat training along with 57,000 cubic miles of airspace overhead where pilots practice air-to-air -air maneuvers and engage targets on the ground. Frankly, no other area in the country can compare in size, scope, and tactical training ability. Protecting and maintaining and expanding these types of mission are critical to Arizona's long-term viability as our military installations generate more than $9 billion in economic impact annually to our state. This makes the military one of the largest industries in the state of Arizona. Given our state's current economic condition, this stable, recession-proof industry needs to be maintained and strengthened. With that as a perspective, I would like to ask my own hometown mayor, uh, Glendale Mayor Elaine Scruggs, to please come up to the uh, lectern and to uh, make a very special uh, announcement. Mayor? Thank you, Governor Brewer. Thank you <clears throat> for your support now, your support over the years. And you're right, you were there all those years when the legislation that was passed that really made Arizona a model state uh, in the eyes of the military. And we thank you for all your support and the and support to come. Well, this morning, our mission is very simple. It is to officially launch the Loop Forward campaign. And that campaign is designed to bring that important community support component and let Washington, D.C. know that we are mission ready. We're coming together as partners in this new initiative to show our statewide support and to show the significance so that we can help secure that F-35 mission here at Luke. You know, Luke Air Force Base is currently the largest active duty F-16 training base in the world. And the F-16 is being replaced with the new F-35 Lightning II. Through our Loop Forward campaign, 
we're going to continue to increase the awareness of the importance of Luke Air Force Base continuing that mission in our state and show how really, as the governor stated, Luke Air Force Base touches each and everybody in this state. We are going to increase the awareness of their importance in our nation's defense and security. We're going to increase the awareness of their importance in our state's economy on its own and as part of the military industry that Governor Brewer mentioned. Standing with us today are representatives from our Look Forward partners. These are representatives of cities who have joined with us to show there is overwhelming support in Arizona for the F-35 training mission Luke Air Force Base. Now I'm going to read them their names alphabetically by their city, but they're not standing that way. So I'm going to ask them to wave at you in case you don't know who each of them is. Okay, City of Avondale Mayor Marie Lopez Rogers, Town of Buckeye Vice Mayor Elaine May, Town of Gila Bend Vice Mayor Fred Hull, City of Goodyear Mayor Jim Cavanaugh, City of Litchfield Park Mayor Tom Schoaf, City of Peoria Councilwoman Joan Evans, City of Phoenix Councilwoman Thelda Williams, City of Surprise Mayor Lynn Truitt, Town of Youngtown Mayor Michael LaVault, Fighter Country Partnership Chairman of the Board Charlie Freerich, I don't have to move, you can see him fine. And I have the privilege of representing the city of Glendale, home of Luke Air Force Base. The focal point of our campaign is our website, lukeforward.com. If you haven't visited it yet, please do so, do so at your earliest opportunity. We're encouraging you and citizens living throughout the state to go to this website to register support for bringing the F-35 mission to Luke Air Force Base. As Governor Brewer stated in her remarks, protecting the current and the future missions at Luke must be a statewide effort as Arizona's military industry does impact each and every one of us throughout the state. Now this was affirmed just last month at the League of Arizona Cities and Towns Conference when elected officials representing 89 of Arizona's cities and towns passed a resolution asking our governor our state legislature and the federal government to continue their support of policies that strengthen the mission, viability of Arizona's military installations, including Luke. Since 1941, Luke's mission has been to serve as a training base for fighter pilots. We do not expect that role to change. Recently, the Air Force released criteria that will be used to evaluate bases for the F-35 mission. And based on those factors, Luke is perfectly positioned to receive the F-35 and continue its decades-long role as the Air Force's premier training base for our country's fighter pilots. Luke has the experience, Luke has the infrastructure, Luke has the facilities necessary for the next follow-on mission. Our state features the ideal climate, land, airspace, and training ranges, including the Barry M. Goldwater Range in southern Arizona. The Air Force has informed our congressional delegation that an